Good morning, Obs. Did you have a nice sleep? <laughs> Not ready to get up yet, huh? <laughs> okay, we're one step closer to getting up here. Sitting upright. <laughs> hey, dude. Kind of a lazy morning, huh? A little chilly out there. Get some food going for you. I love stepping out first thing in the morning. It's been so calm here. Birds chirping. Oh, a little bird up on that cactus. Still some coyotes howling. Beautiful day. Come on. Hobbs, time for breakfast. Ah, you know what that sound is. All right, Hobbs gets a little bit of water, warm water on his kibble. Soften it up a little bit. You know what that sound is, huh, Hobbs? Almost there. You know what time it is, huh, Hobbs? You ready? Okay. There we go. All set. No, stay. You look comfy there, Hobbs. I like your blanket. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little Sunday morning cartoons. <laughs> you funny. All right, I'm getting out to do a little exploring today. I'm gonna be heading up towards uh, Canyon Lake, Tortilla Flats. 
make our way up that way. Looks like we got a beautiful day on our hands. It's supposed to be clear and sunny, and it's been so calm here. Don't want to jinx it, but we really haven't had many windy days at all. I'm gonna sit back and enjoy the ride up there. Away we go. Well, overlook for the lake. Take a little peek, see. Yeah, oh, yeah, beautiful. Nice view. We're going to head down towards that lake. We'll be going right by it. It's a pretty good flow of people out here. It's the middle of the week. It's still pretty busy on the weekends, especially in the winter months. Uh, it's pretty busy out here. We're dropping down into the canyon. Tonto National Forest Recreation Area. Canyon Lake. There is a campground at the lake here. Yeah, we're right down at the lake now. That didn't take long. Well, it's pretty calm today. It'd be nice to get the kayaks out up here. Yeah, some more cottonwoods. It's like they've got a tour boat out there. When I stopped taking some pictures, I could hear them over the loudspeaker. A guided boat tour. Okay, we'll get the lowdown on these day use areas here. Acacia. Swimming, picnic, toilets. Park vehicles must display recreation pass. That's right, there is a recreation pass. You can drive through here without the pass, but if you want to park and do any hiking or boating or anything, you need that pass. I don't believe it's very much. Parked vehicles must display recreation pass. Let's see if they have pass on it here. Oh, the interagency pass. Your national park pass gets you in here. I'd imagine in the middle of summer, there's actually a lot of people out here just to come out here and cool off. There is swimming allowed. No camping signs. You got to go up to the campground. And it's uh, pretty expensive. Oh, this is so fun. Just having a great day out exploring. Feel bad Kelly's stuck working. She's taking care of Hobbs. 
she works online. I'm just out having a joy ride here. This is neat. Giant canyon out here. And there are a few people down in Tortilla Flat, I can see from up here. And there is another campground just down here. I believe that's Tortilla Flat Campground. You won't be on the water there, but you'll be right next to town. Uh, I don't know if I'm up for stopping here. It is jam-packed. I gotta do it for you guys though. We'll stop and just take a few shots here. When I say stop and take a few shots, I mean photographs, not shots. Alcohol. <laughs> ah, it's pretty neat though. Look at these big rocks towering over. And this is Tortilla Flat. It's just this little area right here, a few buildings. Got a restaurant, place to get drinks, ice cream, a few gift shops. It's pretty much what they got to offer here. Yeah, just gonna park right here. The schoolhouse here, tiny, tiny little schoolhouse. Maybe we can get in there. Got the old schoolhouse set up as a little museum. Bunch of old photos. History of the area. It's the Roosevelt Dam. I wish we could drive all the way through to there. You gotta go all the way around now. Some of the native history. Pretty neat. Oh look, they even got one of the old school desks. <laughs> oh, it looks like you have another one behind it and you use the desk attached to the seat in front of you. It's funny. Space saver. No movie posters from some of the old westerns that were filmed out here. There's Tortilla Flat there, and a little glare from the lights, but we had a big flood. There's water running right through here. 2 flat. We're going to continue on. There's a sign here, road closed nine miles ahead. So we're going to go up to the end of the road. See what we can find. Away we go. I've heard talk of people who are kind of lobbying to get this road repaired so you can drive through, but the state just hasn't invested the money in it yet. Ah, this looks like it's going to be a fun ride. Look at that. All 
right, pavement ends. Fun begins. Yeah, there's someone camped out here. If you had Starlink, you wouldn't be totally off-grid. The vehicle's over 40 feet. Must be because of turnarounds. Ooh, pretty twisty turn in here. at the end of the road here. Why look at this stonework here. This is the end of the road right here. Fish Creek Hill. Gosh that'd be awesome if they got this road fixed. Yeah, they had a big rock slide years ago, and it's been closed since. Could go all the way through to Roosevelt Lake. Boy, look at this earth roamer. This thing is long. Got a wheelbase on that thing. They got toilets out here. Nice. Wow. Oh, that green, that lime green on the rocks. So neat. Oh, I wish we could continue on that road. That would be an epic adventure ride. see the you know you can see the road continuing on down there that's actually the old Apache Trail which is now turned into State Route 88 but of course that section is closed they do have some informational boards here but they're all beaten up by the Sun so you can't read them but this is fish fish Creek Canyon and the one up top you could read a little bit we were just talking about how doing it with horse and wagon one of the most challenging parts of the Apache Trail, but you're rewarded with these amazing views. Here's some of that green lichen we're seeing on the cliff sides off in the distance. It looks like up close. Okay, it's time to move on. Daylight is burning. I should probably start making my way back towards camp. I got a little bit of a ride ahead of me. This was worth the day trip out here though. What a fun ride. North Dakota plates. Didn't realize that I just turned over 6,000 miles on this bike, though. Another view of Canyon Lake off in the distance there. Right, this has just been a fantastic ride. Making our way back to camp here. I have worked up myself an appetite. Now that was a fun day. I had a good time out there. I 
Now these roads are drying out real nice. It was pretty mucky back here. Home sweet home. Squeezed by a cow's bike here. Oh yeah. Well that was a fun day out. Good to be back at camp. Go check in on Hobbs here. There he is, Hob. Hey Hobbs. Good to see you, dude. He's been hanging out over with Kel and her van. Give her a little relief. You can come over and hang out with me. It's almost feed time anyway. Did you have a good day, Hobbs? Missed you, dude. Missed you, dude. You a good boy? Yeah. <laughs> He's so funny, Hobbs. Hey. All right, it is dinner time at camp here. I'm going to do another one pan meal. Going to do some pasta in a meat sauce with some mushrooms. It's actually canned mushrooms. So I got about a half pound of ground beef there. I'm going to be using this uh, canned tomato sauce. I've got some fresh garlic that I chopped up. And uh, I'm going to uh, end up putting some uh, angel hair pasta right in there with the sauce, a little bit of water, cover it up and let it cook all right in the pan. No need to boil water for the pasta. We'll see how it turns out when we get that garlic in there. All right, ground beef browned up. Mushrooms have cooked down a little bit. Go in with that tomato sauce. I'm going to add a little water with that too. Okay, so I added that tomato sauce and a couple uh, cans of water to uh, rinse out that can. Just going to use this Italian seasoning to season up the tomato sauce. Go pretty heavy with that. We'll add some black pepper in there as well. And then I've got some mushroom seasoning. Mushroom seasoning really gives it a rich flavor. Pretty liberal with that. And then I'll probably add a little bit of pepper, some cayenne pepper there. Bring that up to a simmer, and then I'll add the pasta, add the dry pasta, just cook it all right in the pan. Threw in some angel hair pasta in there, added just a little bit more water to make sure that that pasta is um, submerged or close to it. Okay, this has only been cooking for about, oh, six or seven minutes or so. It's angel hair, so it cooks pretty fast. Uh, I did add a good tablespoon of brown sugar. That kind of helps cut the acidity of this, the straight tomato sauce. Okay, there's our finished product. I brought over a little side salad there and some Parmesan cheese. It is looking good. Meat, meat and mushroom sauce. I'm going to sit back and dig in. How is it? <laughs> I already started without you. How is it? It's really good. Good. Hobbs wants some. He wants some of everything. You already ate, Hobbs. You already ate. Remember? Sheesh. Do you have amnesia? Yeah. All right, I want to eat. I just want to thank y'all for joining me on another video. Hope you enjoyed the trip up to Tortilla Flats. I appreciate y'all hanging out. We'll see you soon in the next video. Hope you're doing well out there. See you soon. Take care. Peace.